been up never not on my grind new york city time another brother better you will never find i've been in my bag like groceries competition shouldn't take shots take notes yeah yeah putting live for the winners gordon's got the ground game it's a coach and this is the nfl on ea sports coming up we'll get a look at melvin gordon fresh off a big game a week ago as it'll be the la chargers Take it on the Detroit Lions. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Los Angeles Chargers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, they come off a good win in the opener on the road, and they get a second road game here. Yeah, the schedule makers didn't really do them any favors, but if they can win here and get to 2-0 on the road, they could be well set up for the rest of the year. Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. This is taken at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Chargers' all-time passing leader, Phillip Rivers, who's been their starter since 2006, trotting onto the field. And I'll tell you what, he may be just a couple of years from 40, but he can still do it. You look back to 2018, some people were whispering MVP and Rivers in the same breath with what he did in that campaign, especially impressive in two December primetime victories, one against the Steelers, one against the division rival Chiefs. And although things ended not quite how they wanted in the playoffs to New England, Phillip Rivers still feels like he has a lot left in the tank. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. So let's all work together on this one because it's natural to just watch the football. But I want all of us to watch the center of this offensive line, the center and the two guards. They've got to be able to control the point of attack, and they didn't do such a good job on that last play. Plenty of opportunities to redeem themselves. They'll have to take advantage of that and start to make progress. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. You've called plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, man? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. Oh, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. How about that? Three sacks in a game a week ago, and another one right here. Oh, he's feeling it in a big way. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Lions will take over. So here are the Lions under second-year coach Matt Patricia. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is a big arm guy who's learned how to temper some of his throws. Actually has added a lot more touch and accuracy as his career has gone along. Big-time confidence in his arm, though. Any throw you want, he can make it. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. That really sets them back. A loss of six. Now on second and 16. Stafford, the completion to Riddick. 
And this will be a pickup of four here, up Pushing to their the own 20. Roughing the passer, defense. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Adrian Phillips, an all-pro as a special teamer last year, and on the tackle. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Stafford. He gets it to Thomas. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The starters on defense here for Los Angeles. Let's just go ahead and state the obvious. Safety Derwin James is one of the better players in the NFL. First team All-Pro as a rookie, also went to the Pro Bowl, and he shows up anywhere and everywhere on the field making plays. Third and two, Stafford. And he'll find Galladay, that's complete. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down and four, Stafford. James has got it, complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. They'll run with Bodden, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Anderson is the lone man in the backfield here as they get set for a second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. The Charger drive about to get going. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Rivers. Complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Fourth and short, partner. I mean, this would be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter. On They're your own side of the field. On side of the field. But, boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for it and get it, wouldn't it? You're gritty today. I like it. I'm feeling it. 
And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at the 20. Back to throw, Stafford. And he's got Amendola on the connection. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. To throw again on second down. Stafford, open man is Galladay, complete. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Carry on Johnson, the intended receiver. And it's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Stafford now to throw. This is Riddick on the screen. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run. And it's second and four. Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. On third down, Johnson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. From the 39, Stafford. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big pickup of 38. I know we love our jobs and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. You must, you must get tired of seeing me. Here's Stafford. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. C.J. Anderson, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. You have the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Crater for the extra point, and the lead grows to 10-0. After the touchdown, out is Crater to kick. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. 
from the gun, Rivers. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice. Or maybe even routes versus air. Because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. Now Stafford. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. Stafford with a give. This is Riddick. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 26. The Lions on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This time they face a third and two. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. He needed two. He got one. And that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Prater's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Chargers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Complete. It's Henry. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. If you're a selfish player, and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 26. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty, because now it makes it third and six after the false start. 
That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties, and they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll get nothing out of the completion there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, if you're going to pass on third and one, you better get a first down if you complete it. They completed it, but no gain. The aiming point has to be beyond the first down marker where you throw the ball. Third and one, you can't have anything that's even close to the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you run the risk of what we just saw there, not getting the first down. The Chargers take over first and ten. The head coach relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it, and it looks like it's paid off. And from a coach's standpoint, when you throw that flag, it's probably a pretty tense moment here it pays off. Yeah, you have that little bit of indecision. You throw it where you feel like you're right, and then you think, uh-oh, did I get it right? In this case, they can celebrate. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Rivers on third and two. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That one good for 13 and a charger first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. to the air again here Rivers and he whips that one incomplete there Keenan Allen the intended target that'll bring up second down Rivers incomplete on first down here's second and ten Rivers throwing complete to his tight end Henry the reception good for seven it's third down the Chargers on third down just one for five to this point here it's third and three Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and 10. From the gun, Rivers. A quick throw, but incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. Gordon, a pro bowler for the second time last season, 885 yards, 10 touchdowns, and that was only in 12 games played a season ago. And he also switched jersey numbers in the offseason from 28 to 25, and 25, that's the number he wore when he was dominating the Big Ten college gridiron for the Badgers of Wisconsin. Now Rivers on fourth down, and it's complete, Henry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. First down, Charger. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. 
Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On second down, Eckler. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. On third down, Rivers finding Green complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. The Chargers, a team that's really been plagued by poor field goal kicking the last decade or so, but I think they feel they've solved their problems with Badgley. I would say so. He went 15 for 16 in 10 games last season, undrafted out of Miami. And remember, he had five field goals in the playoffs against the Baltimore Ravens. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Tackled there by Rayshon Jenkins. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. On first and 10, Stafford. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. The second down attempt there knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time. Third down here. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. A reminder coming up later tonight, Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 8-20 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night football, Odell Beckham back in New York, back in MetLife Stadium. Browns and Jets, 8-15 Eastern on Monday night. It's complete to Williams. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Rivers now. It's Williams on the catch. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. A first down throw here for Rivers. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Throwing again. Rivers. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this one is right down the middle. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL. Following in. You sure you're ready for the third quarter? Need to use a bathroom or anything? Mike All right, Bradley cool. Let's go. This fielded at the two. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So here are the Lions to take over. They're leading right now and on the heels of that victory last week against Arizona. First and 10 as they start this drive. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And they start the second half with Johnson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's a quick throw complete to Galladay. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. Stafford. The completion to Riddick. And he goes out right around the 39. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And this is a way, it's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Rivers to throw it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. On is the Chargers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And they can't bring him down. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Here's Stafford. He gets this one to Johnson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Stafford throws complete to Galladay. And he's got this down to the 35. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. They'll run on first down. Johnson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
On second and nine, Stafford, James has got it, complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. That's a game of three. Now third and five. From the gun on third down, Stafford. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Rivers on the money, complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. Charger. Here we go. Single, single. Who got 17? Who got 17? <laughs> On first and 10, Rivers. Complete. Hunter Henry with the grab. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Rivers hands off to Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He's got his man. It's Williams. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 29-yard line. Now he's the guy, Mike Williams, that the Chargers took seventh overall a couple of years ago. Battled injuries as a rookie, but in full health last year, he caught 43 passes with a knack of really finding the end zone. Ten of those 43 catches went for touchdowns. Rivers pass on target to Hunter Henry, and they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Rivers now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. And nearly picked off there. And it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there. And it also brings up third down. Ninth play of the drive coming up. And certainly not an easy one on third and long to throw Rivers and the Lions pressure too strong down he goes they couldn't contain Deshaun hand that time as he gets home for the sack well how about that a dime set on defense six defensive backs none of them blitz they're just back there in coverage defensive lineman gets the sack that's where the o-line they go to the sideline they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them right yeah the cameras can't find them but I know one thing the o-line coach will Badgley able to punch this one through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off? A bit. I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. And the ball is knocked out. 
Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Stafford now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Out of the gun, Stafford. That's to his running back, on Johnson. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be a second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing a Stafford. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and ten at the 45-yard line. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Again, it's Stafford. Over the middle complete. It's James, and he's going to get this inside the 30. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Stafford going to come up first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver, but it'll be second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. On the ground, this is Johnson. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that will be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So making four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Throwing again on second down. Rivers gets it to Gordon. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. They go play action. Rivers. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Looking to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth quarter. Going for some big plays. Yeah, they certainly were. They just decided one shot, didn't they? Forget trying to move the ball downfield in small little increments. Let's go for the big one. But how about the defense playing situational football, looking at the scoreboard and realizing what can hurt us most? The deep shot. They played it well. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. From the 44, Stafford. And that is incomplete. 
Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. On first down, Johnson. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. On the ground, it's Reddick. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Jermaine Kurz, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Prater on to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Now, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. That throw into the arms of Allen. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here at a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Rivers. He completes it to Henry. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Now Rivers. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up. And this is a live football. Weaving through traffic. And now he's free. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. In for the score. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. We talk about it a lot. One of the dangers of the long field goal, you got to kind of hit it low and drive it. That makes it susceptible to a block here. Not only do they block it, they return it. And how about how well they did on the return where they didn't create a penalty? Oftentimes in that type of a scrambling situation, someone will clip, someone will block below the waist, right? It, you name it. In this case, though, that didn't happen. They formed it up, and he took it all the way back for a touchdown. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead is now 24. This is taken at his four. 
And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, that field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick. Obviously, the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Now Rivers throw into the hands of Gordon. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Green once again the intended receiver, and now it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Rivers, and he's got a man open. That's Allen. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. The Charger first down, Rivers hooking up with Allen. The first down throw here for Rivers. That's complete. It's Gordon. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make this a second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. To the air again here, Rivers toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time, and it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And it's complete. Henry, and he's in for a Charger touchdown. Hunter Henry, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. It used to be that if you were a big wide receiver and the coaches wanted to make you a tight end, you resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big time position. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. Here's a great example right there. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Stafford. James has got it. Complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, the Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. 51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 27. To throw is Rivers. Complete. It's Henry. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Throwing Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. Boom. That's how we do it, baby. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get him back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Done. 
And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Three down, three down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing again, Rivers on second and 10. Open man is Cantrell. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. They'll throw again. Rivers throwing right, and that's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Foul, roughing the passer defense. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Completes it to Benjamin. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to pull a bit closer. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. So the touchdown was big, this almost equally big as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. Now Rivers. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. A very pivotal two-point try that does not go their way. Now it's a big uphill battle for the rest of the fourth quarter. The attempt was to try and make it a one-score game, right? Touchdown, get two, now you've tied it up. Instead, they don't get it, still down 10. Well, fourth quarter, they this. felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. This thrown quickly out to Jones. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. 
And this score will stay right where it is. Phillip Rivers, no stranger to fourth quarter comebacks. He's led the Chargers back to victory 26 times coming into this year. But work to do here if he wants to add another notch to the belt. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Rivers for Keenan Allen. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Rivers. 25 yards that time. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And now it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And it's caught. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Hunter Henry with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hand steam ready. No doubt about it. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. And this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Four down, four down, check. And they will take a knee here. Stepper is on the keeper. Well, Brandon, they're getting to 2-0, and, oh, and this time they're able to take a knee at the end and secure the victory. Preseason, coach said their goal. They obviously want to win everything. He said, I think we can get off to a 3-0 and start. Well, here they are looking at 2-0 and right now. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Lions, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for our visitors, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.